in another episode of Bedtime Stories. Uh, tonight, my producer Olivia has told me we shall read a story for Marty, Camp Counselor at Timber Ridge. Once again, our story is from the My Lady Bird Treasure of Bedtime Stories. And this selection is called The Puppy Who Wanted to Be a Cat. Life seemed too busy for Penny the puppy. There was always something her parents wanted her to do, and she was fed up with it. So one day, Penny decided to be a cat. Do whatever they like, Penny said to her brother and sister. I mean, just look at Ginger. Penny and her family shared the house with Ginger the cat. He did an awful lot of dozing and was never, ever in a hurry. But you're a dog, said Penny's brother. You can't be a cat. Oh, no, said Penny. We'll see about that. From then on, Penny copied everything Ginger did. She walked like a cat, stretched out on a rug like a cat, and even tried to meow like a cat, although that was hard. And when her parents told her to do something, she said, I'm sorry, I can't do that. I am a cat. As you can imagine, after a while, this started to drive her parents crazy. So they came up with a plan. The next morning, there was a surprise for Penny. At breakfast, her brother's bowl was full of delicious, chunky dog food. And so was her sister's. But Penny's contained something rather strange. What's this? asked Penny, sniffing at it. Well, since you're a cat now, said her mother, we thought you ought to have cat food for your meals. Suddenly, Penny wasn't so sure being a cat was such a good idea. How could Ginger eat this disgusting stuff? It was so yucky. The rest of the family burst out laughing at the look on Penny's face. Penny laughed, too, when her father took away the bowl of cat food and produced her real breakfast. From then on, Penny was a puppy again. At least she was until she saw a bird flying through the sky. Don't be absurd, said her sister. You can't be a bird. But Penny's parents wouldn't put anything past her. And neither would I.